every piece of work has to have a oh moment. There has to be a, cause, cause otherwise you're not gonna look. When I was growing up in New York, there was a conversation being had in New York at that time, a creativity conversation with graffiti specifically. Those were my heroes. My mom was like, I'm going to get you as much paper and coloring books and whatever you, whatever you want art wise that we can afford, we're going to get you. And so I was always trying to innovate with what I had around me. I knew that I could get all of my ideas into a film. That was, that for me was it. Like, I know I can draw, I know I can express myself, but film was it. That was the container that I felt could, could do it all. My work tends to lean more towards joy, towards ideas of freedom, universality being the power of togetherness, the power of we, the power of us. So that's where I find my strength. And so a lot of my work is about the sweetness of life, about being still enough to, to almost listen. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say about visual art, but like just being able to, to stop and really digest a moment, really pull apart a moment and, and, and see where that sits in your spirit. I come from a place of abundance. I have it so I can give it that abundance of color, that abundance of like sizzle and electricity that I, I try to pop in even in the dark moments is, is about me giving it to you, the light, the light. I'm trying to give you everything. I'm really also trying to bring creativity into people's lives on a daily basis. I create something every day. I'm comfortable with being a creator. I'm comfortable and have a, a strong, <laughs> exercised imagination and inner life. The more that we know that we can create on a small level, the more we can be able to go, oh, okay, I can imagine politics in a new way. I can imagine health and mental health in a new way and not be scared of it. So many artists, so many storytellers have, have dealt with these problems and have gone unsung, have gone unseen. And we have an opportunity to not let that happen again. We have an opportunity to value those who have given us not only hope, but like tools, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Art has been liberation for us. Art is not just art for us. Hip hop was the internet. Blues was the internet. These things were how we communicated and found joy at the same time and made money. That's, that's our number one export. Nothing moves without art. Nothing moves without art. And that's, that's the thing. You're surrounded by realized dreams from your clothes. Someone had to design that. Book covers, your desk, your sh the streets, the way the streets are put together. Someone had to design all of these things. It's a narrative. It tells a story. Investing in artists, particularly black artists in this moment is important because it's an investment in yourself. If you're investing your money and your time and your energy in stories that don't involve you, that don't see you in the future, that don't see you prosper and flourish, then you've invested in your absence. We've been told what's amazing and we haven't tapped into what's amazing in ourselves. We've been told what's creative and what's powerful, but we haven't tapped into that in ourselves. I would like to see more action, more attention to creativity as a tool of growth. Creativity is power.